Hello, precious friends from around the world. Welcome to my table. I'm here with a general reading for the sign of Libra. So this reading could resonate with anyone who has Libra strongly in your chart. All right, so let's go ahead and um, look at what is currently happening now. What is currently happening now for the sign of Libra? Currently happening now for the sign of Libra? What's currently happening now for the sign of Libra, please? You aren't going to see me shuffling um, because we have a little bit of a different display, uh, but hopefully you can see it and you might be able to see some shadows. What's happening now currently for the sign of Libra? Currently for the sign of Libra, please. Currently for the sign of Libra. All right, what's happening in the future in the next seven to ten days? In the next short period of time. What's happening to Libra in the next short period of time? Next seven to eight, ten days or so. What's happening to Libra? The next short period of time. Okay, we have um, some new beginnings here, Libra. See how they've popped in. Um, they've kind of taken my breath away, so I have to reground myself now and breathe again so that the rest of the message can come out. in the near future for Libra? What's happening in the near future? What's happening in the near future for Libra? What's happening in the near future for Libra, please? What's happening? I'm telling you, Libra, this is, this is cool. This is exciting. This is exciting stuff. But there's a block. See, you can see there's a block here. We'll talk about that. Um, I think there's one more energy in here that's trying to make its way out. Give me a moment while I find it, please. For those of you who do not like the shuffling, you can always move forward in the reading um, to where the shuffling begins. All right, now we're looking for guidance, please. Please give us guidance. Please give Libra guidance during this period of time. Guidance during this period of time, please. Guidance. On the floor it goes. Okay, let me get that really quick and then we'll be ready to start the reading. Sorry, I'm moving my chair around. <laughs> that was another um, reason why I had to be careful with the tripod because I move around a lot and I get really dramatic and I fling my arms and the cards go everywhere. So I had to be careful with what I did, but I'm super excited about this. All right, so let's go ahead and there's our guidance. Let's look first at what's currently happening for the sign of Libra. Ten of Wands in reverse. Eight of Wands in reverse. Five of Wands in the upright. Well, now I know why I, I feel some extreme pressure um, and some stress um, energy in my back. Um, a, a good way to relieve the stress energy that you feel, um, there's stress energy now. So just give me a moment while I do this, because it's going to be important for someone. Please be patient here, because I do sense like there's this impatience energy. There's a very impatient energy here. So please be patient as I do this. Um, there's a lot of tension around you, especially around the throat chakra, the back of the neck. Um, oftentimes for me, the back of the neck and or around the shoulders um, can come from um, having something that needs to be expressed, having a truth that needs to be expressed. Also, um, you have tension in the lower back. It's actually from the middle of the back down to the lower back. I found in my own energy work that sometimes um, laying on a bed or it, the best if you could lay on the ground. Um, but if you could lay on the bed and 
on your stomach and um, imagine a, um, a cord or a tube or a root from a tree that moves from your abdomen down to the earth and allow the energy um, to move through the abdomen because actually the energy, um, uh, it can pool in the back areas where you can feel it, but it comes from the abdomen, right? If you can um, take the abdomen and put it directly onto a bed, onto a flat surface, onto the ground, and then um, ask the energy, release the energy. You have to surrender the energy. Um, oftentimes for me, it won't just leave when I do that. I have to actually work to surrender the energy. I have to give it up consciously because um, many times we can hoard the energy. We can keep the energy even though we don't want it. Okay, thank you for your patience in that. All right, in the current energy, we have you coming out of a situation um, that has kept you overwhelmed, exhausted, depleted, and not really knowing what to do. Okay, so um, not not necessarily was this uh, um, a situation that was, and it could have been, betrayal. Um, there, it's more about taking action. Like you had... Um, you have some new beginnings starting here for you, or they're right around the corner for you, Libra. Um, but you're, it's like somehow you weren't able to take action. There's something blocking you right now that you're not able to take action. You have this sense of impatience. You have the passion. You have the passion. It's like the energy is building up in you, almost like a volcano. You have changed some things here because I see you coming out of this period. So you have changed some things but there's much more you can do. You're feeling some kind of a block. And I think for many of you, this is actually like a block. I don't think this is internal conflict. I think this is something that's going on. Well, yes, it always is from within as well. So this is how you're perceiving it. Because remember, I'm an empath, so I'm going into this energy. Um, there is a block in your outer world. That's what you're, you're, you're experiencing. Um, but there also is conflict in the internal. We're going to work in the external world today. That's where we're going to work today, I feel, especially in the current energy. There's something in your external world that you're trying to move out of. And you're, you are being successful in that, even though you can't feel it. You are being successful in that. Um, I'm being reminded, uh, and I'll try to keep the analogy short, but sometimes this is how spirit communicates. Um, of, of like prisoners in jail. This is such a weird story, you guys, but just go with me here. How um, they can try to escape through digging into walls, digging through the soil to escape their prison cell. Um, and it can take some time. That's what we're saying here. Like it's sometimes escaping or sometimes removing yourself from a situation um, where you were in control of other people or you were not in control of your own destiny or you were shouldering the work of other people. Um, we had another reading. The Ten of Wands has come out, came out three times this week. So there are people in this universe that are going through a transition right now in this, in this term, tumultuous energy that I feel in the, in the cosmos. There's a lot of turmoil. There's a lot of change happening right now. There's a whole group of people that are going through um, a freedom. They're going into a, they're, they're stepping onto their freedom path is what I've been kind of, kind of explaining it as. And I think for you, Libra, this is part of it for you. Um, no matter what other people think about you, this is not about what other people's perspective is. This is what you're wanting and what you're feeling. So I do feel like you could be moving up against a group of people or moving up against a person in this, or, um, you're, you're, you're moving up against something. You're moving up against something, but you have found success. You are on your way out. So I think that's why you, this impatient energy is here because um, it's like you have the passion, you have the energy, um, but you, there's something blocking you from moving forward. So um, let's see what the, oh man, I'm just tempted to see what the guidance is. Let me just follow. Mm, nope. I'm going to look at what the guidance is. Um, so let me just move these up really quick. Let's look what the guidance is. And uh, I need to get guidance. Let me, I, I want to see, I'm in this energy. This energy is super power. Libra, you guys are super powerful right now. Um, you're going to be able to figure your way out of this block, this five of wands. You absolutely will. It's your, your energy is very powerful. 
you are almost in a Sagittarius type energy, um, the energy of the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is um, an amazing energy to work with. It can really move mountains. Um, it can. It's really a very powerful energy, and that's the energy that I feel that you're in. Please tell us the guidance for this block, please. Please tell us the guidance for this block. Guidance for this block, please. King of Wands, revolution. Okay, let me... Six of Cups. These are cards are in reverse as well. They're a little darker. They're a little harder, harder to see. Devil in reverse. Didn't come out though, so... We, we skimmed past that one, luckily. But it's here. It's showing its... It's rearing its head. I just need to get some guidance for this current time period. Ace of Wands flipped over as well. So you have a bunch of aces. You have a bunch of new beginnings here coming out. Ten of Pentacles in the upright. Okay, so... <laughs> King of Wands energy. Let's talk about the King of Wands for just a moment. King of Wands is a masculine energy. We're not talking about a person here. Well, we could be. We absolutely could be. So let me explain the King of Wands, and then you can decide if this is an energy that you're in or if this is a person that you're working with. King of Wands is a fire energy. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius can be male or female. The energy is in the energy of action. Um, this is a performer energy. Um, this is someone who is very much an influencer of people. They can step into situations where there's turmoil. They can step into situations where there's a dying energy, a deflated energy, and they can build that energy up. They can build it up. They can manifest within it. They can find resolutions. They can rescue. Um, they, they are very charismatic. They can influence people like nobody else. They're performers. They 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 use the energy from within them, and they and they flow the energy out almost like a dragon. Like a dragon is what I'm being being shown, and the fire from the dragon's mouth can work amazing. Um, can can really um, build and tear down and and revolutionize the energy, the space, the environment around him or her. All right, so uh, this is talking about, if you, this is your energy, this is talking about needing to continue in that energy. Um, there, there is some tough work to be done now. Um, there is a conflict to be worked through. And um, there is guidance here to use all of the power within you to keep moving forward. Um, don't allow yourself to be deflated at this time. This is, in a, in a way, this is your own personal individual battle that you're in. You know, I mean, it's not a war between countries. It's not a battle between between communities. It is um, some kind of a. Um, it's like a. Um, it's like a battle within your own situation. And the King of Wands is someone who works be best in bursts of energy, right? So if you're talking about a performer or someone who channels, like an actor or um, a singer or a performer or someone like me. Um, where we take energy and we use it in a very intense way for a shorter period, short a, a shorter period of time, and then we'll need to rest. We'll need to recuperate. We'll need to connect back in to our to our um, to our peace in our in our sanctuary. That's the energy here of the King of Wands. So they're saying, continue the fight. That you're almost through this. You're almost through this. Don't give up. Don't give up. Six of Cups is here in reverse. Um, this is a soul connection, but it's a soul connection that needs help. It's a soul connection that isn't um, working in an optimal way. Um, if this is a situation you're in and not a person you're fighting against, but a situation you're fighting against, um, it is a situation that is something that you're learning from. It's something that was meant to be here for you. you. It's a soul connection. It's a soul path. It's part of your um, lessons in life. It's part of your freedom path. It's a test. It's a class that you're going through. Um, and it's going to help you in your life, um, in your life path, in your life journey. So this is part of your life's journey here. And there is a soul connection here. If this is a person, this is, a, again, it's the same. This is when we say when we work with energies, they can be person, they can be people, places, or things. It's an energy. Um, if this is a person that you're working against, um, if, if this is a person that you're working against, the king of wands, all right, a, a very strong, fiery charismatic, influential um, person who is in, is taking action right now. Okay, if you're fighting against this person or if you're working to find freedom against this person, this is a soul connection to you. This person is a soulmate. 
not all soulmates are lovers. Some soulmates are teachers. Some soul, soulmates are friends. Some soulmates are family members. Um, this person has a soul connection to you. This could be a family member with the Six of Cups. But something about this soul connection isn't healthy at this period of time. And it's part of your destiny. It's part of your path. It's part of your lesson. It's part, part of the class that you're taking in life to work through this. Um, and to f it, this is going to help you find a certain path. It's going to help you find a certain um, success in your life. This, this, it's, like, it's almost like a test. You could be in the testing phase. Um, lots of times before we, we come up to the major test in our life, we go through um, a ramping up. We go through a class. <laughs> um, this is kind of how I fought in my own life because I kind of took my own life as I was journeying through some real hardships for myself over the last 15 years. Um, I, I kind of looked at my own life as in a clinical way. I'm Aquarius. We're a bunch of big weirdos. You guys are Libras. You understand. Um, and I, and I, and, and you can kind of feel the test approaching, right? You're, you're sort of going through these lesser experiences where you, you're feeling something, you're learning stuff, and you almost can feel the energy of, okay, something big is coming up. This isn't the end of this. This isn't the end of this. Something bigger is here for me to learn. And you're kind of at that stage right now, I think, Libra, at that stage of that final approach or that final test um, that's here for you. What you're working on is the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is safety and security. It's an energy of financial stability. It's an energy of not having to worry every bloody day about money, about where you're going to rest your head, about who is going to be a part of your life. It is finding safety and stability in your life. And for many of us, it's not just um, for the day or for the week. We're, we're looking for stability and we're looking for safety and we're looking for financial abundance for the long term, for the long haul, so that we can focus on, on much more um, profound elements of creation, right? So this is building a strong foundation. And that's really what you're working towards. You're working towards financial, financial abundance, not just to be rich, not just to be wealthy, not just to drive around in a fancy car or to, to buy, um, the best clothes or the, the most expensive brands. It's not about that. It's building a strong foundation so that we can do the work that we were here to do, that we can create that we can have experiences that help us to find contentment and to experience adventure in our lives, right? So, so it's, it's okay that you're working towards the 10 of pentacles. It is expected. It is a hoped that you would work in this way. This is part of the human experience. So, so you're definitely working through a conflict here and we see um, that you do have this impatience at how maybe that, that there is continually more, blocking or or you keep working on this and keep working on this um and there and there's some kind of block here um that's that's currently keeping you from totally exiting out of this experience you're wanting to be done with this experience you're wanting to be completely done with this experience all right let's move into the future now and see what's here i'm just going to take these energies let's see how i'm getting this is the first read i don't so you guys i don't practice it's too, it takes too much energy for me to do this, for me to practice. So you're the first reading I'm doing. I haven't practiced. So, um, you get to see me in my creation stage. Um, let's take these energies now and see what we have. So we started off the first cards that came out for you was the Ace of Wands. It's in reverse. I don't care that it's in reverse. That just means it's not here yet. That's all it means. It's coming. You're working on it. It's exciting. You have the Ace of Cups in reverse. It's the next card that came out. These two Aces were the first energies to pop out. This is incredible. This is incredible. Don't lose the fire within you. Do not lose the fire within you. I'm in the King of Wands energy um, right now. Ten of Swords in reverse. You're, come, you're coming through it. You've made it a long ways. You've come a long journey, my friend. You're, you're exiting out. Don't lose hope. Don't stop. Don't stop. I see now I need to. What I, what I also like about this is I have my computer right in front of these cards so I can see much better what I'm doing. It's, it is a very comfortable situation. I'm pretty happy with it myself. Hope you guys are happy with it. Um, now I have this bottom card here. 
See, I don't have a whole lot of space to work in, so that's a little bit different. Why don't I? Hmm, nope, it needs to be like this. It needs to be like this. So why don't I take this energy? It's just my overall energy anyway. Give me a second here while I figure out what I'm doing. This will help me on the other readings I'm going to do later today. And I'm going to take that. This is my overall energy. It's always at the bottom of my deck doesn't uh, of my spread doesn't matter though I know what it is so why don't I just do this so you're struggling right now with there there are okay I don't want to say this because I don't want to influence too much some of you may be struggling with um with with the fruitfulness of this is it worth it is it going to work is it is this just my imagination am I just um in an illusion about this change should I just retreat and, and figure out this in a different way. I'm saying no. What we have here in front of you are two new beautiful energies that are just right around the corner. The Ace of Wands is here. Passion, new action, perhaps a new job. New passion though. This is what this is what is part of the joy of life is passion and chemistry and action and feeling that flow of creation within us. That is part of the human experience and it is a right within all of us to experience that kind of energy. And it's here for you. It's here. Like if this was right here, I would say that it's, that it's, that it's, you're, you're going to step into some new job. You're going to step into some new relationship, new passion. It's in reverse. It's still here. It's still here. Yes. You may not be seeing it. Yes. You may not be feeling it, but it's here. It's right around the corner. Also with the Ace of Cups. You might be feeling lonely. You might be feeling like there's no one for you and there may be no one for you. But the, the, the energy here is an open energy of love. It's an open energy of love. Sometimes we focus too much on a very particular energy of love, the energy of sexual love or the energy of romantic love. Um, there is guidance here and I feel it coming through. I have to say it that to, to, um, to, to focus on the overall energy of love first, because you do have love coming in. You do have new inspirational love coming in here for you. Um, a good way to connect in with love, if you're looking for a certain kind of love or a restored love or um, a resolution in love, is to focus on the general energy of love, the yet love for humanity, the love for animals, the love for plants, the love for the earth, the love for the sky and your view as you look across the horizon. Connecting in with the energy of love will help you connect in with an actual new inspired love in your life. Because, my friends, we have two beautiful new beginnings here waiting for you. Two. They're in the wings. They're coming in. Now, in the next week or so, are these energies going to come in? Probably not. But you're getting closer every day. You're getting closer. These things don't just happen in a year sometimes. Sometimes it takes a couple of years. And you've been at this for a little while. You've been at this for a little while. That's why they're waiting in the wings. So, so you do have love and you do have passion here. Passion comes first. A new action comes first and then love. We, we can see that. Okay. We can see that. So there could be a new job here for you, a new business that you start, a new hobby that you take in. And um, perhaps you want to travel the world and you begin to do that. And then as you're traveling the world, you meet someone very special, right? It could be and an infinity of different paths that you can take to get this to work for you. But the, but, but the, but, but first it's needing to find freedom and to begin living in a different way somehow, begin acting in a different way. And then this new love relation, relationship comes in here. Could be a birth of a new child. It could be a new um, nonprofit that you start. Perhaps you go work in an orphanage or perhaps you um, are uh, moving to a different country to help um, women um, start their own businesses. Whatever this love is for you, it could be a beautiful love affair or finding your person. Whatever this love for you is that you're connecting in with, it is right around the corner. It is right around the corner. It looks like you could have a couple corners. First, you're going to get to the corner of, of a new passion, new action. And then after that, you get to the corner of new love, something like that. Um, we have the ten of the ten of swords in reverse, a beautiful energy, 
absolutely beautiful energy coming out of a period of great pain, great struggle. Um, so um, first, what I like about this is currently you're in the energy of the Ten of Wands in reverse. Isn't this interesting how the cards come out? First, you're in the energy of the Ten of, Ten of Wands in reverse. So there's something that you're doing to find freedom in some way. Okay, so you're finding some kind of freedom with the Ten of Freedom of burden, freedom of abuse, freedom of taking allowing other people or, or people um, taking from you, taking your time, taking your energy, taking your specialty, taking your willingness to work hard, taking your willingness to bear the burden of other people's um, of other people's apathy or other, uh, of other people's uncaring energy. You know, this being the burden for others is, is something that must stop if we as individuals of the world are going to find our own power. There are too many of us that live in poverty and in weakness and in, in a diminished state. And there are a few individuals in this world who have too much power, my friends. We must all learn our own individual strength. And part of this here, um, part of this here is, is finding our freedom. So you're going to find some freedom first. You're going to move through this block that we have here. And after you find your freedom, you're going to start living in a new way in some kind of capacity. And once you do that, you have new love coming in. And after you do that, you could start to experience life in a brand new way where the pain of the swords of the, of the, of the shrapnel doesn't have to pierce us every time we step out of our freaking door. Okay. I am in some very impatient energy here. Okay, so if you're wondering why I'm being so dramatic in this reading, it's because this energy of your current energy is very dramatic energy. That's why I'm very dramatic right now. Can I blame it on you? No, I can't. It's it's me. It's how I work. So if this is annoying for you, um, I'm sorry, honestly. So um, here we go with this manifestation. So you're working on manifestation. As you move into the next seven to 10 days, you really begin to take action in your life. It's not only about taking action though. It's about having the belief that it will happen. Having the belief in miracles, having the belief in yourself, having the belief in your own strength and your own skills and capacities. Not only that, but having the passion. And I don't have any doubt that you have the passion because there's passion all over this reading. But here we go. We have to have the clarity. We have to have the clarity of, of what our plan is, right? This is actual 3D clarity, um, not clarity in connecting with the divine, but clarity in how we're actually going to move ourselves out of this situation. What's plan A and what's plan B and who are our friends and what are our strategies, right? It's having the clarity at which way we're going to move. We can't just move in um, a chaotic way because sometimes that just puts us on the hamster wheel. It's slowing down. It's doing the King of Swords. It's the King of Swords energy is what you're working with here. Mostly is um, finding a way out, looking for your path to freedom and doing that in a very scheming way. Like you can do this. The other people around you were scheming. It's like you have to, uh, this is a little bit of the shadow. We have a lot of cards in reverse, which tells me we're working a little bit with a shadow here. Um, and that's okay. Um, you need to be um, street smart here. This is about being street smart and about moving out of the situation in a way that's effective for you, that it doesn't keep you on the hamster wheel. Because let me remind you again about these beautiful new beginnings that are right around the corner for you. It's here. It's coming up in the reading. We can't deny it. All right. Uh, and the magician is in the upright, which tells me that you're, um, you're currently working on something that's going to be effective. Don't you like how the magician is in the upright over the top of these two new beginnings that are in the reverse? And look, we have three ones. Isn't that beautiful? So that's what spirit is saying right now. There are three ones here. There are new beginnings here. It doesn't matter if they're in the reverse. New beginnings are always in the reverse for everyone when they begin. That's how they begin. That's how they start. It's part of the manifestation. It's part of the manifestation cycle. So it's beautiful. You are manifesting. You are creating your own beautiful reality. It just takes a little bit of time. And I can see that you're, that you're most willing to put in the work. You're most willing for this because you have this beautiful passion that I see here, see here, Libra. We have the four of cups in reverse. This is telling me that you know what your contrast is. You know what you don't like. You're tired of it and you're ready to move forward. Underneath it all is this deep realization of what you do not like in your life, 
what is not healthy for you in life. You're finding that. Look at the four of, four of Cups next to the Magician. Magician is in the upright. The Four of Cups is in the reverse. You know exactly what you don't want. And for many of us, that is a first step to manifestation. First to feel what we don't want, and then to begin to imagine what we do want. All right, so, so again, you're in the very beginning stages of manifestation, and it's shown to us here in a way that it's much easier to understand than just the word manifestation. Sometimes we use words like ego, that um, we can just say these words, oh, it's the ego, and so I think it's ego. What is, what is the ego? What is it? Let's get to the root of it. What is it? When we say the word manifest, what, what is it? What does it mean? You are, you're seeing a picture here of manifestation in the process of manifesting and the emotions and the, um, the, the processes that it takes to actually manifest a new beautiful action, new beautiful passion, and new beautiful love into your experience. All right, so that's the next seven to 10 days. It could go a little longer than that. These energies are really powerful. So it could go out in a month or, or two, depending on what your situation is, how deep you're in the situation. For example, if you're in a marriage of 25 years where you have a whole house full of, of belongings and children and even grandchildren, it could take a lot longer to find your freedom if you're in a situation that is abusive or that is not healthy for you. It could take you a lot longer. If you're in a job and you've already found another job, well, it's going to take you a much shorter period of time. So that's what I mean with the depth, the depth of the situation. All right, so this for some of you could move out a month or two, or it could even move out into 2020. Those of you that are here and this is resonating with you, you're going to know exactly what speed you're moving at. The overall energy here is um, you have the three of wands in reverse. This is an energy of impatience. It's an energy of impatience. This tells me that you have began to feel what freedom is. You have began to feel it. And once you have a taste of freedom, um, that is the end to captivity. It just takes, for some of us, it takes us a while to dig our way out. I've been there before. Um, but this is also a reminder here that there, it, this is worth working for. This is worth moving towards because there is a bigger, brighter, more abundant life here for you in the future. And this is about building the awareness of it, building the evidence of it, building your faith in it, building your trust in it. It is part of the manifestation process. And you're working on that, even though it's in reverse, this energy is here. And that's a beautiful, that, that's a beautiful energy to have. Keep working on your belief. Keep working on your trust. Um, if it's, if it's hard to, um, build this belief system, this optimism, think back, um, at your victories. Think back. Yeah. This, this energy is, it's creating a slowness in my, in my speech, which tells me it's, it's definitely the overall energy of this whole next couple of weeks for you. Um, look back over the last period of time where you've been working through this and look at your victories. Really look at your victories. How is life different now than it was a year ago or five years ago? Look at your victories. Build yourself out back up. Look back and find evidence of your movement forward. Find evidence of the miracles. Sometimes we don't see the miracles. Sometimes we're blinded to the miracles and there are miracles that are around us all the time. And um, often we don't see waking up in the, in the morning when we can open our eyes and we can see the ceiling above us. It's a miracle. My friends, we are alive to experience a new day. You know, it's, it's getting into that energy of miracles and gratefulness and appreciation for life that will help move this three of wands into the upright. So I'm going to go ahead and move it into the upright now. Before I move on to the guidance for this next couple of weeks, I'm going to take these cards and I'm going to flip them to the upright. And I don't know if you can feel the energy change, but allow the energy to change within you. Allow the energy to change within you. I'm also going to move the Ace of Cups to the upright. Allow the energy to change within you. And that's all that I have space in the energy to change. I think the Ten of Swords is going to come later. But let's try to change the energy right now and allow this energy to start working with us. Let's start flowing down the river um, in, a, in, in more in tandem um, with the universe. So we just flip these energies now. Um, I think that's going to help just a little bit. Let's look at guidance now. Let's look at guidance. I almost don't want to take, I'm going to leave these two new starts here. I'm going to just put them up. I'm not going to remove them, but I'm going to take all these other energies and put them to the side 
And now let's, let's look at guidance. Oh my gosh, it's 35 minutes. We have the lovers. We have the three of pentacles in reverse. See that you have something real, real coming in here. So the guidance is to continue to walk away from what doesn't, um, what doesn't bring you healthy experiences from what doesn't bring you, um, a, a, a stability in life. So you're walking away. Um, see, when I work in reversals, it does change the energy just a little bit. And this is the first week I'm really working in reversals. So um, please be patient with me as I do this. Um, there, There is guidance here to continue to look for um, different futures, continue to look for what your imagination is really calling to show you. Um, continue to look for more abundance, continue to look out, look out around you and see where your feet would like to take you. Allow your heart to pull you. This is an energy of the heart and the mind and the body all put together. So there is a need here now to allow the mind to, to absorb what the heart is saying and allow the mind to absorb what the body is saying. So there's an energy now of evening out um, your focus um, new, new beginnings, new passion, new love doesn't come from the mind working by itself. It comes from the body, the heart and the mind working together as three. So, um, if you can relax the mind and get into the energy of heart, take your focus down to the heart and, um, look through a magazine. You know, if you're struggling for where, where you're wanting to go, look through a magazine and see where your heart feels different. If you look at a picture, does your heart feel different from one picture to another? Does your body almost get into action? Do you feel adrenaline in your body when you look at certain images? You know, start working, um, start working with the, with the body and the heart and then filter that information into the mind. And it's going to help you find clarity at, at which direction you'd actually like to go, um, at which direction that your feet and your heart, um, is trying to guide your mind to, to, to focusing on. There's, there's some kind of energy around that. We do have the levers here um, with the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles is in reverse. So let me start with the Three of Pentacles first. You you are looking, there, there are many of you here looking at what you want to begin. And I think many of you have this idea of what it is that you'd like to do. And you've been thinking about it for a while. You could have... Um, a something built up in the mind about it. So I feel like the mind is very busy, has been very busy. Um, it, it is something that has not manifested in, in the 3D, but it has quite manifested in your mind, in your imagination. So this is the connection of the, of the mind and what the mind can build and then connecting the mind with the heart. So it's these two energies here that I've been in that will help you actually bring this into fruition and have it be something that you can actually work on um, that will bring you abundance in the future. Because this is a pinnacle energy. The Three of Pentacles is about real life. It is about the Ten of Pentacles. It is about your abundance and your um, and your stability in the world around you. So there is a merging of these three energies here. As you move towards what your heart calls to you, what your feet call to you, um, you're going to be able to actually manifest what you've been dreaming of in the 3D. Um, this is a, the, the lover's en um, energy. There could be a Gemini here in the future for you. Um, there could be a new lover in the future for you. I do feel, though, for most of you, this is um, the yin and the yang within us. There is a need here to merge all the centers of the body, the mind, the soul, the spirit, the, the physical body, um, the roots of who we are, um, really digging deep to know who we are and making decisions that are harmonious to our own selves, um, learning to feel that peace and harmony within us. You know, um, when we when we feel peace at something, we can really move forward in a very st stable way. And when we don't feel peace about something, when we're all over the place, um, we can often find a lot of work to do, but we, we don't really get anywhere because we're not feeling harmonious and peaceful within ourselves. So the guidance here is to find peace within oneself, to dig deep and find peace and then make changes in our lives. Um, and uh, there is an energy here and guidance here of finding that peace, finding that alignment within us so that we're not drug all over the place. We're not torn in many different directions. This is about your soul, your life, your abundance, not anyone else here. This is not about your 
mother's abundance. This is not about your boss's abundance. This is not about your sister or your best friend. This is about you. You have to live your life when you're old. When you're old, who is going to be with you? It's going to be you. You will be with you. And so there is this um, a redirection of the focus to, to pull back all of the energies that you've spread around to other people and to other projects and to pull back a lot of that energy within yourself so that you can find alignment and you can move forward um, in, a, in a peaceful way once you have dug deep within the self and then begin to manifest these new beautiful beginnings in, in reality for yourself because they're, they're flying close to you in your vortex of, of realities in the future. They're flying close. They're right around the corner, my friends. So, all right. Um, this has gone on too long. We're at 41 minutes. And I've been trying to keep them at half an hour. Um, what a silly goal, but that's just my style. I can get really cut up. Um, I am going to move to the extended now. This, this week, I am going down into rabbit holes. I'm going to go into the rabbit holes of these new beginnings. We're going to see what kind of new beginnings are here for you. I want to go into the rabbit hole of the lovers. And um, then we're going to look at the people that, um, that are around you and what their intentions are um, in their own lives. Um, I, I always kind of like to do that for myself sometimes when I'm going through transition. And I think um, this week and, the, and the, the rest of the weeks at the end of this year are very transitionary energies. And I think that might be helpful for you. So that's what I'm going to do in the extended Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, the Lover's Energy. And then I'm going to look at the people around you and what their intentions are. Okay, thank you all very much, beautiful friends.